Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Web and Apps. Today the video is all about HTML list which is in the form of ordered, unordered and many more. It's a list. If we have to ask this question, what is a list? Every day we make a list of the things that we have to do or the things that we want to buy. So we are very much familiar with what is a list. Sometimes we just write it in the form of bullets and sometimes we write it in the numeric format like we number the list that we want. Every day we keep making one or the other list, maybe for a specific task to complete, maybe some assignments to be submitted or for many other activities that we do, we always make a list. We have different types of list. The first one is unordered list. It is represented with UL tag. The second one is ordered list. It is represented as OL tag. Then comes definition list, which is represented with DL tag. And you have nested list as well. These are the type of list. We'll be seeing them one by one. Unordered list. An unordered list starts with a UL tag. Each list item starts with LI tag. The list items will be marked with bullets. Small black circles by default. Unordered list is represented as UL tag followed by the list items that you want. So you will have LI tag that represents list item. You will have to mention your list, close your LI tag and you will have to close your UL tag as well. All these tags are container tags. By default, the output of this will be in the bulleted format. Example for unordered list is you are creating a list with UL tag followed by allies of apple, mango, grapes, pineapple, orange. You are just mentioning the fruit name and you are closing the unordered list. You can see the list has been given the output in the form of bullets. The normal bullets that we get in our word also. In the word document as well, whenever you click on bullets and numbering, by default the option that comes is the bullets with small black circles. We can also give different type of shapes for the bullets to come. As in our word also, we have an option that we can select from the number of ways the bullet list looks like. Similarly, over here, we have unordered list type as square, circle and disk. If we want different pattern for the bulleted list to appear, we need to write an attribute called as type. Now type has to be written with UL followed by type that is the attribute equal to the value that we want. So for example, if I want it to be disk, I need to write disk and then I need to continue with my li tags and I close my UL. So when the output will be coming, it will be in the form of the disk bullet, not the normal default bullet that it will become. Same way you can give type is equal to square and type is equal to circle. A demo of all these tags with their types will be coming up in my next video. Next is ordered list. Ordered list starts with OL tag as it represents ordered list, OL. Each list item starts with an LI item. LI stands for list of items. The list items will be marked with numbers by default. As we know ordered list. Ordered means something has to be counted in an order pattern. Then there has to be a numbering or there has to be an alphabet pattern. So we know when we give numbers it starts with 1. Same way if we give alphabets it has to start with A, B, C, D. So that is what is called as ordered list. And the pattern is same as unordered list. You write OL followed by li the number of list items that you want you close the li tag and then you close the ol tag so this is what is the format of ordered list the example for that is 
over here the same example that I took in my unordered list I have converted it into an ordered list to see what is the output that is going to give me there we saw it was a bulleted here we can see the ordered list is coming in the format of 1 2 3 4 so by default ordered list takes in the number format of 1 2 3 we can give along with ol also the attribute type so when we give type we have an option to give us alphabets we can give roman numbers or any other number where it has to start from so with the ordered list also we need to write the type attribute so we will write ol type is equal to now when we have to give equal to if we need to give alphabets we need to write a capital A if we want to start it as from capital A if we want small a then instead of capital A you will have to write small a you will have to write small a similarly for the roman numbers so we have an option to write capital A so that it will start everything in the form of capital. So instead of 1, it will be capital A. Instead of 2, it will be capital B, capital C and so on and so forth. So I have an option to write capital A, small a, Roman numbers, small Roman numbers and even the number. So by default, it is number. But if I want the order not from 1, 2, 3, but I want it to start somewhat like 5, then I need to mention number equal to 5. So the ahead numbers will be coming as 5, 6, 7, 8, so on and so forth. What we have is the description or the definition list. Now as a term it says it's description or definition means you are talking about a term and you are defining that term. So there are few tags that follow with that. So a description list is a list of terms with a description of each term. So if we go onto a browser and we search for the definition of the term list, you will be getting the term list and then you will getting some definition for it. A pattern to write a definition. So how do we write a definition? We write the term for which we want to define and then we write the data for that definition. So this is what is the pattern, how we write a definition. So here we are talking about definition list. So a definition list has three tags inside it. One is DL tag which defines the description list. So it starts like we saw unordered list as UL, ordered list as OL. So there's a definition list that starts with DL tag. Followed by that you have the term to be defined. So when you have a specific term to be defined, you need to write it as definition term. So if I want to define the term as list. I will write it as definition term. So my definition term has been mentioned. After that, I need to mention my definition data. So for that, my tag is DD. So I need to mention a DD tag and mention what is the data that I want to mention. And I close my DD tag and finally I close my DL tag. So I have a definition list tag followed by my definition term tag followed by my definition data tag. So this is how is the pattern of my definitions getting displayed onto my screen. Example for that is here you can see I have written a term definition list DL first followed by the definition term is like short TD. Now what is that term? Technical design. So TD followed by my technical design. If you can see I have not given any breaks. I have not closed my DL as well. But it is understanding that it has to come on different lines and the term has to be highlighted and then the data has to be. So my DT and my DD is not coming on the same line because my term is separate and my data is separate. So it is coming onto the different. You can write multiple lines of definition data as well. Right now I've just given you one line that's why it's just playing here. And as I said the example for this will be coming up in my next video. We can use multiples of list as nested list. We can nest unordered list under ordered list as well or only unordered listed as nested as well. So example for nested list is you are writing a UL tag. That is my unordered list. I am writing my listed items. Again, I have opened an one more unordered list. I have not closed this list yet. I have used another tag unordered list. I have listed my list items and then I have closed my unordered list. So this is my first closing. 
then I have given an another li tag and then I have closed my another unordered list. So we can see apple and mango has come with one indentation and this unordered list, this part of the set has gone as an another indentation and then since it's continuing with the first one, it has come back to its same range. So this is the use of nested list. So you can even, I've just shown you an example with the unordered list. But you can list unordered under, ordered also, ordered under, unordered also. You can have mixed match of all those things depending on how you want the data to be displayed. This is all about list, unordered, ordered, definition and nested list. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos, do hit the like button onto my videos. Do share it with your friends. Do subscribe to my channel and pass on to others also to share my content and give your valuable feedback on my comment section. Thank you.